Hi, good morning everybody. 28 August, Friday 2020. Let's talk about gold. Now, yesterday gold really went for a very big roller coaster ride after Federal Reserve came out the uh, indication that they allow the interest rate to be or can I say that more like the allow the inflation to come in a little bit more, all right, and keeping the interest rate low for time being, all right, and immediately we saw super big response from the gold market. Let's go in live now and see what happened yesterday, shall we? So gold was basically uh below OP for most part of the day, coming down, taking some profits from recently the rally and stuff like that. There was a few trades right here. Um, the market KCX signal came out and CCRY was where you go in to buy. And of course, the market did went up for $2 profit. And of course, uh, some of you made money from there, right? Then it came down again. There's another KCX trade right here. Okay, it was there. And up top, it hit the KDR minus 2 perfectly. And of course, if you buy again, you make the second round profit. So things was okay. We're looking at more like a repeated pattern right over here. CCRY again, it tried, but this time around, it didn't go up. And it came down. Stop loss was triggered. So this is where you lost some money. But the thing is this, this is where the news came out and things changed, totally changed. The thing is this, straight away, CCRY cross over. K, uh, KTR minus one, minus four, minus two, minus two, minus one, OP. At this junction here where mouse is showing, the question will be this, can we buy here? Well, the answer is still a yes because it's a CCRY and the entry will be here, the stop loss will be placed here. Now, of course, you may say that this is really too far away and you're not comfortable to do it, that's fine. But in terms of technique, it's still a buy because you can see gold, in fact, went up by another almost $20 after that, triggering the plus one and plus two. So by rule of the uh, technique, it's still a buy, but of course, if this range is too far away, your bullet size is not able to, to take care of it, then of course, you do not enter. But when the market reversed now, when the market hit the KTR plus two, you can see how perfect it is. It closed perfectly at that level and you turn immediately CCYR and it crossed back below OP, KTR plus one, KTR minus one. So if here is the uh, point to sell. So same thing again, if your entry price is so far away from your stop loss and let's say you're not comfortable, you don't wish to enter, there's something wrong, but if you can enter, you just do the bullet sizing, you can get your risk reward ratio, you realize that the market came down 1x nicely, all right? So basically, even though there was a very big movement based on technique, you can still enter, but make sure you use the right bullet sizing, all right? When the market came down all the way to okay, pivot one, it stopped there beautifully once again. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, this is what we all know. As long as the market cannot break below pivot one, any CCRY will be a buy. And indeed, the goal went back up again a little bit towards the end of the day. So this is what happened yesterday because of the uh, Federal Reserve, uh, this uh, news there, this causes the market to be going crazy. So how about today then? Now for today's goal, it is, um, you can see there's a new cage form. Hence, therefore, and uh, the market will likely be, be sideways uh, for today, if you're going to ask me. Um, upside itself, right, the market is trading below the pivot 2 level for today. So naturally, if the market stay below OP, CCYR will be on the downside. And I suspect that it may go and touch the cage support level, and that's about 1909 level, okay? So downside will be 1909. Now, if the goal do cross above the pivot 2, 1931, then there is a chance that the goal will go back up again. Now, there is a possibility to go back to this chocolate bar level, which is about 1954, right? Let me just put it there, 1954. There is a good potential of going near there, okay? All right. So, um... That is the thing here. I doubt the market has a strength to go all the way to 1998 unless something really powerful came in. Alright, this is my personal take. KSI wise is great. Uh, red in color, blue bar, so more towards the sell side. Alright, the market is still in the sell terrain. So any CCYR trade below OP will be more towards the sell side. Alright, now let's look at the intraday chart. And the intraday chart shows that the market. This morning, there's a KCX trade right now. And of course, the $2 I think have been given. But of course, this is too early. Normally, we don't take such a trade. So let's see how it goes. But now, at least we can see it's trying its best to stay above the opening price. So do watch out for 1931, the pivot 2 level. If we get resisted, pulls back down, any CCYR will be a good candidate to short. All right. Do your risk management. And I wish you all the best. This is Cal signing off. Bye-bye.